you know, I've always listened to radio. When I was growing up in New Zealand, I always had the radio on, I was always listening to it. And it's just one of these things that I've, I just, I couldn't imagine my life without it. Radio has changed the lives of generations by bringing the world to their doorstep. From the Hindenburg disaster of 1937. It's a terrific race, ladies and gentlemen. The smoke and the flames now, and the flame is rising to the ground, not quite to the morning mass of the humanity and all the planets. Orson Welles' Halloween broadcast of War of the Worlds, which had many people flee their homes after being convinced of an alien invasion. No more defenses. Our army is wiped out. Artillery, Air Force, everything wiped out. The start of the Second World War. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. The Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii by air. A date which will live in infamy. To Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. From every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city. For African Americans, radio was a voice. It was that uh, call to action. Radio has inspired, impassioned, and informed listeners regardless of age, gender, race, or class, bringing communities together. Recently, in the past decade, radio broadcasting has changed. Technological advancements have ushered in a new world of communication possibilities and personalized media. So is there room for this early 20th century invention in today's dynamic digital age? or has radio finally reached its expiration?